Today, YCS Niagara wrapped up, and we have the top 32 breakdown, and it is interesting to say the least. So, we had one Mathmac, two Flundries, and two Exorcisters as the non meta decks of the top. And let's get into the two top decks of the format. Sprites had 15 decks total with four different variants of Pure, an Adventurer, Live Twin, and Runic. Then, Tier Limit had a total of five different variants of Danger Tier with and without Sprite. We had Pure Tier Limit, a Pure Build of Tier Limit, along with Punk Sprite Tier. Tier Sprite Frog and Runic Frog Tier. So overall, what does this say for the format? Uh, both of these decks being near a 50% win rate is very, very bad for the game. But also, it's nice that we have a few decks topping here and there. But then we have the two big giants, and I hope that they do check and balance the format with the next upcoming list. I hope it's tomorrow, though, because that would be definitely, definitely a day. Now, we do have the top eight lists from the Konami blogs, and first place we had Raymond Die with Exor Sister taking first place. And I just want to look at the deck list and see any of interesting texts there are. So, it looks like Raymond Die is running Mystic Mind, along with a, co a copy of Necro Valley. So, it's another form of disruption, as no one can touch the graveyard, which is absolutely fine, because it stuns your opponent from doing stuff. It stuns tier limits, it stuns sprites, so definitely, definitely helps. Now... He was also running Daybreaker, the Shining Magical Warrior. This is from the Endymion Starter Deck, Structure Deck. And it's a very useful card. If it's Link Summon, you place a spell counter on it. It gains 300 for each spell counter. And you can only activate one of the following effects once per turn. If a spellcaster monster special summon to his own discard points, you place a spell counter. You can remove two spell counters, target a card on the field, destroy it. So this is a very, very useful card. And I would suggest... Just having a copy of this in your binder, as it is super cheap and it's very good in spellcaster type decks. I might have to recommend this to my friend who plays Dark Magician. After that, we see Utopia and Utopia the Lightning, just to close out games. And in the side deck, he's playing Zombie World. Oh, that's funny. So four field spells. That just stops your opponent from playing because I think that's just for Flundries. And also, Raymond is running. I just saw it. I actually just saw it. Right there, Gaga Gaga Cowboy. Running Gaga Gaga Cowboy just in case if time called. Next up, we have Jesse Cotton taking second place with Tournament Danger. Now, some of the things that there is, he's running a small sprite engine of Jet along with Smashers and also has two Sprite Elf in the extra deck along with one main deck Eradicator and in the side deck you have the Gave Dragon. So pretty, pretty standard build as at this point. So one of the cards I definitely do see in Sprite getting hit is Jet, like what the OCG did because of how powerful it is. After that, we have uh, Christian Arena's tier limit list. Um, spotting any of the tech cards, I see Paleozoic Dynamiscus, a very good card. Um, anything else? Really, Gaga Cowboy. Nice tech there, and Unending Nightmare, another good tech. Then we have Dominic Couch playing Punk Sprite Danger Tournament. And any noteworthy cards for this deck? Uh, one uh, Eradicator Epidemic Virus that you can set off a Nightmare Griffin. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Side deck, he's running Abyss Dweller and Anti-Magic Arrows. This card has popped up over the past few years because of how good it is. Being able to stun your just spell and trap cards or their effects so you can't get Mystic Mind. Other than that, you also have one Skullmark the Ladybug. 
When it's sent to the graveyard, increase your life points by a thousand. Okay, it's a time card. Now we have Luke Parks, running Danger Tear Element. Any. Oh, this is branded Danger Tear Element, actually. With Brandon High Spirits, running Dust Frog. So that's the tech right there. A lot of people are on one Eradicator. That's very interesting. And I definitely see Gigantic Sprite in a lot of these lists. A Gabe Dragon's in the side deck. Three deck devs in the side deck as well. Jeez. And then we have Pack running Danger Punk Sprite tier. What are some of the good tech choices that he chose this time? Uh, it's a lot of the same as all the others. A lot of... Hmm... Not really seeing any uh, skull marked ladybug and pack siding the spell canceler with abyss dweller and anti magic arrow. Interesting. Then we have Chansey Wiggle Stove with Sprite and some of the tech cards that we have. Looks like he was on the Dupe Frog. Very, very natural right now. Uh, in the side deck, he's running the Oni Bar Maru Soul Sweeper. And Pit Knight Earl. Those are two good cards in the deck. Because one banishes something and one negates a monster effect that it points to. And he's citing the one Gamma Burst. Cool. Afterwards, we have Victor Lamb on Tier Lament. Pure Tier Lament. Tier Lament. And this is the last list. Any noteworthy text? Um... Underworld Goddess of the Close Force is a good tech. Dimension Barrier, that Dimensional Barrier dropped off, but now it's seeing play again here and there. Triple Skill Drain in the main, in the side deck, though. Overall, uh, these lists are definitely very good, and I congratulate everyone who has gotten a top just from this list. And I might have a special video with one of the people who got top 32 that was on Math Mech. Which I think was the only math mech. But anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow or whenever I upload a new video. But anyways, I've been Bolt Spider. See you guys in the next video and goodbye.